Hello again everybody, Thomas Pollock here from Profile Tree, continuing the tutorials on how to edit short films using Premiere Pro and CC. And now we're going to be moving on to audio. And what we haven't discussed recently is a real cinematic workflow uh, when it comes to editing in Premiere for your films or your short films. And so what we've looked at so far, Chapter 1 looked at the basics of how to bring your footage in, how to categorise it, organise it, whatever way suits you and is efficient. Chapter 2, we looked at more sequence settings, more layouts, and Chapter 3, we looked at more of how to use the timeline effectively. Then we looked at effects, transitions, titles, then we looked at masks, colour grading, and we haven't really discussed really a breakdown of what you're meant to do step by step. And well, what you've seen is you import your footage, you sync your audio, you assemble your footage, then when you get the picture lock, you do the colour, and then you can choose to do the colour or the sound first, whatever suits. Then you move on to do the sound work. So, sound is a whole complexity of its own. I'm not a sound expert or anything. Um, it's usually a, an area that I find quite tedious, but the, it's it can make or break a film at times. If you have good audio, it is often, it's, it's more forgivable to have bad picture quality than it is bad audio, because if you can't hear what the actors are saying, then how can you expect someone to pay attention to your film and be immersed in what's being said? Uh, in the environment and sound design is just so big there's just so much stuff to take into account you know you can have sound effects you can have ambience in the background the dialogue the, the sound effects of things the foley sounds in the background and it's good to always can record as many original sound effects as you can because you'll find out that filming in that environment the sounds will sound much more natural and it saves you having to go in and edit those sounds to make them sound more natural. So the first thing we can look at is probably how to fix dialogue and how to use audio. So if we go to the assembly, we can play through this dialogue scene that I have assembled. You better be ready to do grades. So what we can tell is the audio is quiet here and a way you can um, change that and edit your audio is if you just click here and the same way you have in your video, you can just start editing uh, in the effect controls panel. Uh, at the minute I'm on color space, so I'm just gonna change that layout to audio. I, I usually don't use it. I usually just stick the, edit, the editing uh, layout. It seems to be quite solid, uh, no matter what you're doing. So, we can click that, and then we're able to change the volume. Uh, pan it left and right, so you know, left and right side of the speakers. And then, yeah you can increase whether the left channel is going to be louder or the right channel is going to be louder. And if you come down here, we can do exactly the same as that. Um, we can increase the, the volume. And the same way in the video, we can right click on the FX and change what that is going to do. You know, if we hit balance, this then becomes the tool to change the balance. And the same with volume. So we'll stick, keep that at level. Now there's several ways, now there's several things you can do to your audio depending on what's wrong with it, whether there's a lot of noise in the background you want to get rid of, or you just want to give a much more bassy or crisp sound to your audio. And if we listen back to, okay, so what we can do to this, as an example, I'll just show you. If we go into audio effects, we have all these different settings, some better than others, and the ones that I do recommend are graphic equalizer, 10, 20, or 30 band, and essentially the more bands, the more precise you can start editing, but I would stick to 20 just because it's, you know, that's enough to work with, I think. Uh, graphic equalizer, parametric equalizer, vocal enhancer, they're all probably the best ones to use. So as an example, I think I'll just show you the graphic equalizer. And you see this, and this looks very complex and confusing if you don't know, if you don't understand what sound is in film and stuff. But essentially here you have the frequencies. Here uh, is the bass, so if I could put all those up, you're gonna see what happens to the audio. Well, you know what the say, kid? So it makes the audio a lot bass here. So essentially, uh, what, what I do a lot of the time is I do bring the basses up a little bit, depending on the person's voice, and then you come over here and increase the treble, which will focus more on the vocal cords for people, and just give it a much sharper sound. And then you can have you have the master gain, which you can stick up a little bit just for overall uh, louder. So you can see what that does. And often sometimes if you have audio hiss, it'll be because of these high frequencies, which is sometimes good if you wanna plop each end down and then bring up 
and they keep the mids where they are. But it's up to you. You know, you can just start playing with this and see what it sounds like as you go along. You know what they say, kid? When you go looking for revenge, you better be ready to dig. So that's how you can edit um, uh, dialogue. And the parametric equalizer is quite similar. It lets you play with it like this much more. Um, but I'd like to stick to the other one because it's a lot more manual. But this way you can make a much more gradual sort of thing. And then there's presets to do different things. The old time radio sound. Um, general high pass, that's the cutaway. Low rumbling sounds, low pass. Gets rid of that noise uh, whenever you get audio hiss. So that's how you can add a dialogue. Another thing we can look at is ambient sound and sound effects when you start to layer up your audio. I will open another file here to show you an example of starting to layer audio. Okay, so say we have this shot and also music, and show you how you, you would usually start to layer music in your, in your scene. Alright, so say we wanted to put the sounds of footsteps in this scene. And the footsteps that I have downloaded at the minute are not... Um, not the greatest for what he's actually walking on, because he's walking on metal here. So I have these sounds here, so what you can do is, from your bins, you can double click, and in your source model, the same way you can add a video, you can play through the audio. So the same way you can add a video, up here in your source monitor, you have the stuff for audio, and you can scrub through and listen to sounds. And you can start to rip individual footsteps if you want. Like that, create your in and out point, and then you can drag it down, and start placing it in. Just like that, and this is what I mean when it, I say it takes a lot of time. You start going through and trying to time every footstep. So, here's the result. Now one issue you can imagine is how do you make it much sound more uh, into the environment, and that's really something you have to start playing with yourself. And you can use a thing called surround reverb to achieve that. But uh, first, let's nest these. So once you're happy with the sound effects you've put in, you can nest them, feet. And now I can edit all of these rather than you having to apply the effect to every single clip. Um, let's increase the gain of that. You can just hit G to increase the gain too. Let's just increase this right up to 10. Let's make these sounds really, really, really loud. Um, what's around reverb will do? It'll so, anyway, you've got all these different uh, settings. The great outdoors is usually what I would use for anything that's in exteriors. Then you've got it uh, for indoor spaces, metal spaces. So let's do the great outdoors, then in here, reverb settings, uh, open air theater, open air stadium. Open air stadium tends to be good. And you can get so much into depth into all these different settings. So I'll not bother with that. So you can see the, the effects that ha that has. And often you should bring the gain up, so... And you can also do this by playing with the pitch. Uh, the pitch shifter, you know, if you want to make the sound, sound deeper or higher pitched. Simple as that. And you can just start playing with the equalizer to make it bassier. Anything you want. If you want to add reverb to it, use that surround reverb or studio reverb. Easy as that. And also... I'll show, uh, th that's what you would usually do, and then you can add music. Music usually comes last after everything, once you've got all your other sound effects. And you can also add ambient sounds as well. But for example, I will add uh, music, and, you know, the way you would layer, this is how you would layer as well. You would usually have your dialogue, your sound effects, and then your ambience, and then other stuff, but it's whatever way suits you. So we can have that fade in. We'll have this image fade in too. Okay, and this is not the music or the sound effects that I use for the film, of course, if you've seen it. But that is an example of what you can do with audio and sound. And it's very, very helpful being able to go up here and scrub through, make it just louder, quieter, you can also make sub clips and speed it up the same way you can video and add markers and everything like that. And it can be very helpful. So that's really it. Audio is, there's, there is a lot to discuss when it comes to uh, using noise reduction and really playing with sound design and all the different little fiddly buttons that you can start using. Premiere is good for editing audio, but it's not as complex as it could be. That's what Adobe Audition's there for. Um, but 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for audio. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video when we'll start to talk about rendering and a couple of other things that you can do with Premiere for editing your short films. Any questions, uh, feel free to comment below and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.